Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna take a look into the most requested video or topic that's explaining the WP Event Manager settings and how they works. So if we go to our settings section, we will see that we have a lot of tabs over here. Don't mind the sell ticket tab over here. It is because uh, we have installed sell ticket add-on into this website for some testing. So that's there by default, it won't be there. So all we have is general, even listings, submission and pages and date and time format. So we can easily categorize these settings under like three sections or four sections, general, uh, even listing settings, even submission settings and page settings, right? So today we're gonna focus on the general settings. So let's get started uh, by the general tab itself. So as you can see, we have enable organizer, the first settings over here and a checkbox. So this checkbox over here will control whether you want to enable the organizer functions or uh, feature all over the website or not. Okay. I'm going to explain you why you would want to leave out the organizer settings or the enable organizer settings. Suppose you are an individual organizer and you are creating a event website or event listing website for yourself. In that case, you don't uh, want to add like organizers or don't want to enable the organizer functionality. Make sense? Yes. And that's why and how you can disable the organizer feature for yourself, right? Then we have the event venue, same principle, checkbox to enable or disable the event venue all over the website. Why you want to do that? I'll give you an example. Suppose your website is just an online only event and you do not want to store or allow the venue feature on the website. You just check this off and save changes. It will be good to go and the entire venue feature all over the website will be disabled in an instant. Okay, then we have delete data on in uninstall. This is pretty much self-explanatory. So if we check this and save changes, Whenever we uninstall the WP Event Manager plugin from our plugin section over here, then uh, the all data related uh, to WP Event Manager or from the table will be deleted from the database upon uninstall. So all the settings over here will have a help text uh, right beside them that you can read to get uh, more understanding of what settings you are modifying. In this video, we are just explaining those in a, with a bit more depth and we are explaining uh, some example scenarios. Then we have like Google API key. So this over here are for, let's say we have our uh, Google Maps add-on in the event manager catalog, right? So for that, we will require an API key for Google Map to work properly and the autocomplete suggestions as well. So those add-ons will use the Google API key provided over here, clear? Okay, so this page is almost done, only four settings, and we can include date and time format inside general settings as well. So we're gonna switch to date and time and check it out. So we have date picker uh, date format. So this is the date picker that comes with WP Event Manager on the website. So you can see the multiple formats available over here. I suppose I do not have to explain all the formats over here as they are pretty much self-explanatory. Right, so this is the uh, default date format as you can see over here, but you can choose from uh, a vast majority of varieties. Then we have time picker format, either you can choose from uh, 12 hours time format or 24 hours. So whatever we choose will reflect in the time pickers on the entire website. Then we have time picker tape. So this is the time picker tape. That's the interval of minutes. Okay, uh, you might not understand what I am saying over here. What we can do? Let's open up our uh, front end side, and I'll tell you more about the time picker tape, so you will have a better idea. Okay, so let's go to event dashboard, and So in here, we will click uh, the add event button and we will have a time picker over here. So there, select time. You see the time picker has 30 minutes interval or step count. So after 12 o'clock, we have 12.30 and then we have directly one o'clock. So you see the uh, interval over here is 30 minutes. You can change it to 10 minutes, 20 minutes, even one minutes as well. So what happens if we change it to 10 minutes? Let's uh, save changes. 
and we will go to our this page and reload this page again and if we click on start time you will see the time interval is now 10 minutes after 12 o'clock we have 12 10 12 20 12 30 right so i hope this gives you a better idea rather than explaining it with words and then we have date format so this date format will be uh used to display dates in the front end side okay so this date format over here uses a php standard date format that you can click over here and learn more about and you will understand like uh, what kind of date format you can enter over here and expect it to work right so over here uh, you will find the combination of date format you can use and let us know in the comment if you want to see like a drop down over here as well like we did over here okay we will be able to pull that off and add it to the next release as well if we want so based on uh, community feedback we will proceed with the date format uh, modification if you want use the uh, wordpress guide over here or you can like use php's uh, documentation to set uh, the date format for the front end side or you can go to settings and general there will you will find like a few examples as well so as shown in the screenshot over here in the general settings uh, for wordpress we will find some example date formats as well so you can use them over here as well right then we have date and time separator so make sure you do not include like any common uh, properties or uh, special characters that being used on the date and all the time formatting so the at the rate is a uh, pretty comfortable special character that we can use for date and time separator but you can change that as well okay so then we have event time zone we have either to use a website time zone or select a time zone for each event right so what that means you can either uh, choose the default time zone for all events uh, depending on the website's time zone or otherwise you can uh, select this option and that will let our users choose uh, the time zone for each event individually so this, this is the newest addition on the WP event manager previously we let users choose uh, time zone for each event and we didn't have a by default time zone uh, like modifier okay so now we have the options you can choose so after making all the changes you require just hit save changes and you will be able to see those uh, changes in the website in an instant so i hope this video gave you a bit of idea about how the settings works or like how the general settings are or how they works and what values you can expect out of them come join me in our next video where i will explain the event listing settings over here all the one and until then i'm shadow saying goodbye thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one